Good morning everyone, you are welcome once again to my channel, channel 5 and today we will be learning about how to purchase Bitcoin, Ethereum, USDT, any of the cryptocurrencies that we have in circulation on Binance accounts and to do that you must first register and have Binance accounts. Make sure the Binance account you will be having is verified. Now. This is a typical Binance account and first of all, you must make sure that your Binance account is in the pro version. So you must turn off this particular button, the light button, to get it into the professional part or to get it into the pro Binance account. To start with, this is the interface you see whenever you open your Binance account and at the bottom or at the lower bottom we have home market, trade futures and wallets. To buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, USDT and any coin of your choice, Dogecoin, anything at all, you must first click on wallet. After you click on wallet, the next step is to look at the upper part. We have overview, spots, funding, margin, futures, and end. Now, what I am coming to teach you will be between the spots and the funding account, or we will be learning between the spots and funding. Now, first of all, when you click on spots, these are the things you will see. You will see some of the assets you are holding in your spots account, and when you click on your funding, these are some of the now, things in your funding account. We have deposit, withdraw, transfer. You can see I own 12.5 USDT in my funding account. Now, the next thing you can see at the bottom of deposit, withdraw wallet is P2P or peer to peer, pay, gift card, and pool. Then we have the available balances also at the to bottom. To buy your Bitcoin, your Ethereum, your Dogecoin, your Luna, any other coin that you want to own you must first click on peer to peer or p2p using the peer to peer i normally phone I normally phone the sellers before making payments so that they will be aware and know that someone is coming to pay them so that the crypto can be released in time now when you look at the white part of the screen at the upper part we have buy and we have sell so this is the buy column when you want to buy this is the buy column now when you look at the buy column we have under the buy we have usdt bitcoin we have binance usdt when you go to the sell it's the same thing so the buy and the sell are all the same cryptos now Assuming I want to buy any crypto of my choice, these are all sellers we have in the system. We have the Skyward, the Eagle, Paradise, Sifla, the Great Coin. These are all sellers that you can buy from. So when I want to buy from, so meaning the first one, which is the Skyward, is having 99.46% of what? Trade credibility or the trade the person have done so far. We have the price there the quantity and the limit that is the range the limit is the range at which the person is making his sales meaning he can only sell to you from 100 cities to 1050 ghana cities that's 1050 ghana cities 100 ghana cities and 1000 ghana cities and you can see there's mobile money there meaning he do his transactions with momo so assuming i want to buy from skyward i'll just click on buy then it will load then you see by fiat by crypto so let's say i'll enter the amount i want to buy from him 150 ghana cities only that's the amount of usdt i'm trying to buy from him then i'll click on buy after clicking on buy the next thing to do is to click on next okay then you scroll up a bit as you can see 
his price of selling the usdt or a single usdt is eight cds and there's some pesos on it so the crypto amount i'll be getting is 18.54 usdt so you click on make payments when you click on make payments have you seen his full name is there sylvester amwa and the phone number is supposed to be there but this particular seller the phone number is not there the phone number is supposed to be there then you copy it send him the money then you click on what transferred then you notify the seller transferred notify seller you click there then he will transfer the crypto to you so this one since the number is not there let me try another person there's an order created already but i have to cancel it i have to cancel the order and make another one So I'm cancelling the order because I don't want to trade anymore. So they will just cancel the trade order. So as you can see, the order has been cancelled. So let's assume I want to trade with the eagle. You click on buy. After clicking on buy, you can see that it's on USDT. The same way you can change it to Bitcoin. Have you seen it? So it's on USDT. I mostly buy USDT. So I'm coming to buy from let's say the great coin. So buy then you enter amount, let's say 150 by USDT. So his range of selling, if you go back, you can see that the great coin is uh, the limit he is selling his coin is from 500 CDs to 800 CDs. So let's assume I want to buy 500 CDs worth of stable coins from him. I'll be getting 61.72 USDT from him. So that's 500 CDs. And the price per USDT is 8.1. And the amount I'll get is 61.72 USDT. Then you click on make payments. So here you can see that he's having his phone number there, the name and the phone number. Felix Mensa, Yibua, that's the name. And the mobile money number is there so you just copy make payment to him after sending the money to him then you notify the seller another way is by calling the number first to confirm if the call is going through then you make the payment to him then you try you click on transfer notify have you seen after the seller confirm the receipt fund system will automatically transfer the crypto to your account so that's how it is and the same way you can cancel I don't want to trade anymore with seller so it's simple as that then that's with the peer-to-peer -peer or b2p now let's go to the express with the express this is how you make the purchase with the express you click on the amount of crypto you want to buy on the express then you click on buy with zero fee then it will come the account in which you be making payment to either mobile money then you transfer the money to them the same way if you are having any crypto at all you can also come to this funding account go to uh, p2p so you go to funding p2p then instead of clicking on buy you can change to p2p then you click on sell then you can sell to anybody at all depending on the price at which they are buying if for instance this person always buyer is buying from this amount the limit you watch the limits before you make sales you go down fast and furious is buying from a limit of six thousand and he's buying at eight cd with the pesos on it so it depends on the amount of crypto you are having that you want to sell that's the price at which they to they will buy the same way you can sell with express if it's usdt you are selling you can sell in an express way if it is btc you can sell in express ita like it's just so simple so let's assume i have purchased the usdt that is that it, so it means so let's assume i have purchased usdt and not bitcoin straightforward what i need to do from the funding account is to transfer this money 
click on transfer and move the money from the funding account to the sports account so you click on usdt you change it here have you seen you click on it the coins are there so you click on usdt then you click on maximum then you click on confirm transfer after clicking on confirm transfer the money will be transferred or the crypto will be transferred from the funding account to the sports wallet so you go to the sports wallet then your usdt is there now if you want to buy let's say bitcoin bitcoin to do your own businesses online you go to trade have you seen the lower bottom of the page we have home market trade futures you go to the trade aspect then you go to later you cancel it so you go to trade you go to the upper part of the okay for you have the btc against usdt assuming i want to buy the bitcoin i'll click there you have to click there you have to click on the btc against usdt then you get the coin pairs there the coin pairs are there like how the pairing are you get them there so since i am having usdt i can trade usdt into other into btc dodge and shiba a new coin like any of the coin that i like so let's assume i wanted to trade this particular usdt into btc you click on the btc pair now the red parts of the thing that we are seeing or the display page we are seeing the red is the buy the red is the sale whilst the green is the buy so it's on buy we can see limit amounts amounts is in btc and the total is in usdt so since i am having usdt 12.5 usdt added down here i'll click on the total part we have amounts btc and the total btc so i will click on the total which is the usdt since i am having 12 usdt i'll click there so 12 usdt will give me 0.00058 worth of bitcoin then you click on buy bitcoin once you click on it the system automatically buys the bitcoin so that's how you make purchases of your crypto using your binance account thank you